What would you do if you could get the world's best entrepreneurs in a room and ask them anything? Well, welcome to Paper Napkin Wisdom, where we do just that. With the help of their stories, we help entrepreneurs like you change the world. Here's your host, Gobind Jayaraman. Hi, Gobind Jayaraman here, and this is Week in Review, where it's a short version of Paper Napkin Wisdom, just three to five minutes, where I apply the lessons learned from the book. And this week, I want to share something I took back from being at one of the largest startup events in the world. So I'm there with literally thousands of delegates from around, award winners of startup competitions from around the world. And all of them, the buzz, the excitement is absolutely incredible as entrepreneur after entrepreneur gets up and delivers mind-blowing business ideas, concepts. And they've been in incubators for a long time. And if for those of you who don't know, incubators are a great idea. It's a great idea that I think has gone really wrong. So this podcast is going to be a little controversial, but thankfully it's just a little short. So here's the idea. Incubators and accelerators, for the most part, what they do is they take great ideas and great entrepreneurs in exchange for a little bit of money and a stake in the action. They surround them with resources and desks and innovation, people around them who really believe in big ideas and making big ideas happen. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it's that little match on the gasoline that blows an idea up and turns it into something amazing. But most of the time, what it does is it gets the entrepreneurs involved really addicted to being in that environment. It's kind of like a cocoon. It's kind of safe. It's you're surrounded by like-minded people who are building great ideas, and so few of them actually make it through the net. The net of, of competition, the net that is the market, the net is everything else, and they're building these big ideas, big, gigantic, industry-changing ideas, inevitably without one sale. And here's the truth of it. The truth of it is, when you build your path, When you build your path, you need to understand the twists and turns along the way. That is the second step in the book. You need to plan for the unexpected. And how you do that is by figuring out how you're going to measure progress. You cannot progress toward your vision without any customers. You need to validate this with something absolutely mind-blowing in today's startup culture. It's called sales. It's called having a minimally viable product that you validate in the marketplace because how you think you're going to sell your product is almost never exactly how you actually end up selling it in the marketplace. Listen to me. This is so important. You need to start with why. You need to be aligned with your purpose. You need to have a core value set that you can communicate to your team so that they understand what filters to use. But most importantly, you need someone to dance with. You need a dance partner. It takes two to tango in this thing called business. And that second person is your customer. That early customer is so important Because that early customer, if you listen to them carefully, will tell you why they're loyal to you. They'll tell you why they're willing to put up with some of the things that you get wrong in the early stages. And that's slightly different than your why, your purpose for existence. It's the purpose they chose you for. And every great company that scaled focused in on listening to a small group, a eensy-weensy tiny group of customers about what they do well before taking it to the rest of the world. They listened carefully as they heard the voices of their customers endorsing them for things that they did. And those voices are the ones that sold them to the masses. So many startups are selling themselves to other startups today. They're selling themselves to the like-minded as opposed to selling themselves to a dance partner. If you've got a startup or you're in the middle of scaling up, listen to your customers and listen to why they want you and then use that to become better. My name is Govind Jayaraman. This is Paper Napkin Wisdom. 
make it a great week.